before the delay. We are back. We are back with Final Fantasy XI. Hopefully, everyone was able to see the episode where I did a pre-stream episode. So the pre-stream episode was kind of just like a way to get back into, um, you know, doing things offline as I start to do, set up for doing like a more precise stream when I do stream, right? So we have this exact, uh, like thing to do here, right? So I know we need these keys, so I have to kill these things exactly. Uh, and this is the last key I need. I've already gotten the other two. So if you missed the pre-stream episode, just go watch it. But I got Emperor's Hairpin. Uh, oh, wow, I did not put on Traveler's Mantle. Oh, I did put on Traveler's Mantle. So now I got the Traveler's Mantle from Spook. So um, it's all in that, that episode. But uh, now with more of like a targeted goal to get these keys... Uh, that's what I think I'll do. I think I'll do a mix of live streaming and a mix of offline, right? Because the live streaming for this game is still neat, still cool. Shows like the actual struggle and stuff. But the um, and then I'll just have these up as episodes, right? So that's why I'll depending on what happens. So these still work as episodes because I'm still keeping them on, even though they are live streams. So. With that said, let me just pull this guy with blind here, and hopefully I don't link a whole bunch, but I don't know. It's possible that I will link a whole bunch. I'm just hoping that I won't. Uh, I hope he runs this way. Did he come with any? It doesn't look like he came with anybody, so we'll quickly kill this sergeant here. So, um... This is the last key I need. This is the last Kazam key. So it'd be nice to get it. Steal. Uh, from him. Silver Beast Coins are also great. So still Sub Thief. So if I can get the Kazam key, then we can, you know, go back to Juno and get all the stuff we need <laughs> all worked out. Which would be perfect. Uh, and then I can t continue doing other stuff. But the goal is... I've done a whole bunch of offline stuff, right? So we work, we get the Kazam key here, we go back to Juno, then I go to the Tenshoto, uh, and then I can get the uh, Al the Alzahib boat clearance or whatever it is I need to be able to ride boat to Alzahib, and then maybe I could unlock Blue Mage. So that would be great too. I'd love to be able to switch to Blue Mage. Uh, as fun as Red Mage is, Blue Mage is more interesting, right? It's a more fun job. I never actually played Blue Mage. Red Mage is something I'll need to get to 75 if I want to do any kind of solo stuff because uh, Red Mage is just super good at it. But at the same time, Blue Mage is cool. <laughs> I'd like to do that. Um, it's more so just... Like, finding the exact right... <sighs> Red Mage is not as great for leveling. <laughs> it's good for soloing stuff, but it's so slow leveling, whereas Blue Mage, my, my damage would be, like, increased by quite a bit. But I would also need to get, um, you know, I'm going to need to do... Uh, ninja sub job, so I'm going to have to unlock Ninja, but... So that's the goal. Just, I gotta get these Kazam keys done, get my airship pass to do that, then hopefully be able to do the Tenshoto, get to Al Zahib, maybe get Blue Mage, maybe do Ninja, some stuff there. So that's the goal. Oh, come on, drop the key. Copy of Castle Floor Pin Lands. Don't really think I need that. Neck Chopper is not what I need. Curse Maker is what I need, though. So, um, let's go ahead and pull the Curse Maker. If the Neck Chopper comes, whatever. We'll deal with them as. Now, the other thing that sucks is I don't have Signet anymore. 
Um, stupid black mage types. So they're not going to chase me. They're just going to stand here and cast spells. <laughs> not not good. The um, the other option is. Once I get to do all this stuff, I can check to see maybe what RSE is up. I don't even know if I could... I also need to get invisible. The, the invisible spell would help immensely, but then I could actually get the RSE gear. But without invisible, like it, it's bec becoming an issue to be, <laughs> to be able to actually go to some of these places to do some missions. Um, so I might just need to take time to farm up just spells. Um, that's another, just another thing. <laughs> so much stuff that just needs to be farmed. Um, I need money, but money's, money's just will come the more I level up. The other thing is I could try to beat the dragon. I don't know if I could beat the dragon, but uh, to solo the dragon, probably can't do that as a level 37. Is that what I am now? 37? 35. Oh my gosh. Probably, definitely can't do it as a 35. I definitely probably need to get to 37 before I even attempt the Ranked Dragon. Um, Ranked Dragon would be neat. Come on, drop the key. No. Okay, let's do a little bit of healing. Um, at least I'm getting experience. So we can go into the next area, see if we can farm up some stuff. Uh, maybe, like I said, it maybe we'll get, you know, just some XP farming. I wonder what the, I wonder what I would exactly need to be able to beat the Drink 2 Dragon. Should I, oops, me, yeah, the Rank 2 Dragon, I pro I would pro I probably can't kill Tom, Tom at least 37. Uh, I could probably kill it, you know, had I actually had good gear. <laughs> I'm, not get, I'm not bad anymore now that I got M-Pin and stuff. But, um, it would be much better. Uh, I think if I zone, I'm going to lose. Yeah, if I zone, I'm going to lose N-Thunder. So I'll have to let me heal up and then get to N-Thunder. The other thing I need to do is try to get Refresh. Ooh, when I hit 40, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with Refresh. Uh, that's from BCNMs. Maybe I could do a fun BCNM. I wonder if I could beat BCNM 20. Maybe maybe we'll do a BCNM. I'll be in Juno. Well, for, let's just assume I get these key, or this key, before we start talking about doing other crazy stuff. But BCNM 20... Because the way I have it set up is I can solo these things, right? Because when I go to the areas, uh, I'm not level capped. So I could do BCNM20, maybe get myself a uh, an actual ring rather than just wearing <laughs> these stupid things all the time. All right, let's see. Let's get... Uh, was that the sergeant? Did he respawn? Or was that still the next chopper? Can't see. So let's go into here. Try this out. Get to the pull something else in here. Try to get another key. So where are we? Oop. A little bit close. Uh curse maker, curse maker. Let's see. So we're going to have to do the old get one, then run away. Uh, we're going to have to really burst this guy down and then run away. <laughs> That's just how we're going to have to deal with this. Not easy. Maybe we can kill multiples. Uh, that one's not really doing much damage to us. 
Maybe we can do it. <laughs> Let's see. So, if we can just... Nah, there's no way. I'm gonna have to, there's no way. I'll have to kill this one then zone and come back for the other guy. And if I can kill this one quick, heal back up, zone, maybe I can possibly... Actually, you know what, I'm not... He's not doing that much damage to me. I just don't think the other one's gonna... Yeah, the Curse Beggar, he's not gonna come over here. I'll, I'll try. I'll bring him to the zone and see if he runs over here. So if he chases me... Oh, I got the chest key. <laughs> that's it, that's all we need. I guess, uh, disengage, right? That's it. Got the chest key, I guess I just, uh... Is it not working? Yeah, I just I just started. I just got the chest key. Is the stream not working? Let me re I gotta heal. I just started, yeah. Um Still left off from where I just did the uh end of the other um where I did the offline episode. So I'm still here in Kelspa. <laughs> I just started, so um, luckily enough, though, I literally just got the, the key. <laughs> so, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's actually amazing that I just got the key. So, I don't need to uh, be here anymore. We can go to Juno. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get there. Well, I'm, I'm going to, I'll warp there. I've already, I've already gone there with the home point, so I'll just home point warp there. Uh... Then we'll do Chocobo, we'll do Kazam Key, we'll do uh, the Tenshoto. <laughs> got all kinds of stuff to do now that I've actually got the key. I'm going to kill this sergeant just because he gives me EXP. So, uh, and since I'm right here, and let's go. Come on over here, sergeant. Um... Sweet. I thought this was going to take a bit, but I guess not. That's the bonus of subbing Thief, even though I'm Red Mage. <laughs> um, what is my steal? I got a minute. I'll probably kill this guy before. Uh, it's working just fine. Yeah, I know. A quick key, right? Awesome. Yeah, so like I said, I, I'm going to keep doing the... A mix of streams and off-stream stuff, right? So I've got stuff to do. I've got a whole bunch of stuff planned for right now. So uh, as long as I keep it a mix of doing off-stream episodes where all I'm doing is camping, and oh my gosh, that spook took forever. Oh my gosh. That was that would have been such a long stream. Spook. Let's see. He spawns three times uh, a night, possibly, if I kill him quick enough, or it's two. Two to three times per night. Oh man, it took me like 12 or 16 spawns. That would have been like an eight hour stream. Man, that was so... It's nice to be able to do the, the offline episodes, or the the pre-stream episodes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that format going forward of doing smaller edited episodes where it just shows me farming up stuff that I need, saving everything until I do the long stream. And then I'll do a stream where I just go around and do actual focused objectives uh, like this ending off on the key going to Juno now uh, once the sergeant dies <laughs> I'll kill his curse maker friend probably too what are you doing don't heal that's cheating do not um, so uh, it's helpful like I said so between the this stream and the last stream I did get the M pin which is awesome the hairpin Got the Traveler's Mantle from Spook, which is awesome. Uh, still have not gotten any, like, gear here. <laughs> still wearing a level 10 body, not great. Uh, luckily I got some pants. Oh my gosh, this guy's still alive. Die. What were you do What are you doing? Just die. Sweet. 
Uh, so, oh, I'm not getting experience. Really? That guy was two weeks before his while? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, stupid spook. That took forever. Curse maker, right? Don't be two weeks before worth. Oh, everybody's two weeks before worth while. Well, um, let's see. I don't think there's any NMs here. There's like the H&M, which I don't even think I could kill if he was even up. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to aggro a whole bunch of stuff and die. <laughs> it might be a death warp time. Uh, wait, no, the NM's not even up here. The NM's down over here. We'll see if the NM is up. Otherwise, it's death warp time. We go to Juno. And I do a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of stuff planned. As I was saying earlier, I want to go... Now that we got the Kazam keys, which is awesome, we can fly to Kazam. Uh, I can go to... So when I, as soon as I get back to Juno, we do Tenshoto. Then we got to take the boat to Al Zahib, which will be awesome. And then maybe I'll unlock Blue Mage. I don't have Invisible. So the other thing is I should probably just go back to... Um, is the NM up? Oh, I have Wide Scan. Uh, wide Scan. No. Uh, I don't see the NM. Oh man, there's so much crap. <laughs> so much crap here to scroll through. Uh, I do not see Sentry Lizard. That's not an M. Uh, there's the Panzer. Maybe I'll go kill the Panzer and see if the guy spawns afterwards. Oh wait, is that to him? Kegapunch Dognash? Is that a thing? Is that an NM? Sure. I'm gonna just kill myself anyway. We'll go over and see what happens with that NM. <laughs> I have no idea what that even is. And if he kills me, he kills me. Oh well, I'm just death warping anyway. What was it down over here? I wonder if he even drops anything. I think there's one end up, up here that doesn't even drop anything. Sentry lizards. If anything, aggros, whatever. I'm death warping. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, stupid spook. That. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. that sp spook. The traveler's mantle is supposed to be like not that bad of a drop. Like I think it's supposed to be like twenty percent. I can't believe it took me like fourteen spooks. I have no idea why that took so long. Oh, that is a thing. It is an NM. Um. Is this aggro, or what's going on with this? Oh, this is the one, yeah. This is the one where the, the, the guy with the sword can spawn after I kill this. So it's, I don't even know. We'll just kill this NM for fun, I guess. Let's go. And then, uh, I think I need to wait around to see if the other guy spawns. So, let me see the steel. No. Yeah. Uh, would be neat to unlock blue. That'd be great. Maybe we'll do that. Ninja would also be another thing. I don't know how long I want to spend doing that stuff. It's because ninja. I also got to do the warp quest, then level up black mage to seventeen. If I had black mage seventeen, I could just warp myself around, which I really need to do. But again, that's something I want to do. Just I'll put that in one of the offline episodes where I'm just leveling up. Black Mage to 17, then doing the warp quest. Um, just all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, Lizzie Boots would be great to finally get. But I guess Lizzie Boots I could always camp when I'm blue. I would now need to level up blue and ninja. <laughs> so much stuff. The, um... What was the other one? Um... Then do the chocobo quest. Then the other thing I was thinking, if I got this key right away, we'll check the RSE. If there's RSE for me to do, I'll maybe try to do RSE right now. If if Mithra time is up, I don't even know if Mithra time is up. I could also just check the Vanadil clock website. Uh, I'll probably just do that. That's probably quicker. <laughs> With my luck, this the thing won't be up anyway. The uh, Mithra RSE. I don't even know what level I need to be to get Mithra RSE. Uh, I don't know, the, like the, the maze lurkers or whatever, if I have to go to the, 
what is it, like Labyrinth of Anzozo, is that one of the places? Or the sh um, Maze of... Sh sh Shakarimi Maze? Any one of those places? Those places are going to be very difficult, I think, for me at level 35. But at least I could level there. Would be nice. Alright. There, I killed it. Does it drop anything? Don't know. Gave me experience points. Neat. Didn't drop anything. I don't think it does drop anything. Now I think I just need to wait. If I'm right, if I remember this correctly, I think I wait now. Five minutes and there might be a guy who can spawn. The NM. Uh, that drops a good sword, which would be great if I got the... Uh, what is it, like the Oros Zeph Zephyr? Uh, so that would be great if he does spawn. I think I need to wait five minutes. If I remember correctly. I'll look it up. I don't know exactly what this stupid NM was I even just killed. <laughs> no idea. Experience. It's all for the experience points. Uh, let me, now I have to look this up. Let's see, what are we doing? Um, so we want, where am I? Fort Galesville, right? Let's see what this NM even is supposed to drop. Um, frugal Cape. <laughs> Let's see. Is this the one that, that could spawn, what's, your name? what's its name? Um, da, 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 when killed. Uh, Chariot Buster, this is him. Does he spawn after killing that guy? That's what I need to see. Spawns when panzers are killed. Nope, so there's no need to ray round. Let's just go to the air, uh, air Pass quest, which is Port Juno. All right, so there's no need to even wait around for this. I thought there was going to be, but there isn't. Wrong NM. Yeah, Frugal Cape, I guess. I, I, yeah, I just looked it up, too. Uh, whatever that is. Probably not as good as Traveler's Mantle. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I just, I bet it's just not as good as Traveler's Mantle. I don't know what it is, so. Could be something that was added. Uh, like I said, I never, I played in, uh, now let's hope these centuries all link together. I played Wings of the Goddess, but not super long. Um, I probably quit like, oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. I think I quit playing Eleven like a Five or six months into Wings of the Goddess. So if these NMs were added during Wings of the Goddess, I just don't know about it. I don't know what the Frugal Cape does. Um, probably wasn't. I'm assuming that thing was probably there for a long time. I have no idea what Frugal Cape... <laughs> really? Alright, well, let's just get this guy involved too. Let's just aggro everything in the whole place, I guess. These things aren't going to be able to kill me. Go. Sentry lizards, you're so lazy. You can't can't do the job. Stone crusher. Or stuck chugger, let's go. Yes, no, link. Oh, it's because that the guy's a ranged attack. Come on. There we go. This is this should do the trick. It's quite a bit of guys now that are attacking me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on. Oh, you lazy, lazy guys. Let's go in here, I guess. Oh my gosh. Neck chopper? Let's go. Alright. Yes? Did everybody follow me? No, the Sentry Lizard is not following me. Let's go. Are you guys not going to all link together? Cool. 
Go over here, get all these guys. <laughs> I don't even know where my home point is. I think it's in Selbina. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to cast Tia anymore. Come on. Yes. There we go. This is a lot of guys. All right, I'm just gonna let them kill me. <laughs> it has to be enough here. I didn't really want to have to take off my gear, but I'm not gonna take off my gear. I don't want to do that. Just because I had to put it all back on. It would take me longer to put it all back on, I think, than these guys could probably kill me. Um, yes. So, let's see. Let's, what am I doing? What's uh, the Vanadio Clock website? Let's see if it's... It is. Um, where do I see this? Moon calendar. Nope. Airship route. Nope. Um, nope. Open for bit. Oh, close, closed. It is Hume and then Elvin. Shakarimi Maze. Guskin Mines. Ordell Caves. It is not Mithra Time. That's a shame. Hey, I'm dead, finally. Back to home point. Man, I really need warp. <laughs> oh, Sandoria, what? Oh, that's right, because I, I was trying to level up in... Um, I was trying to, I was fighting goblins as... Uh, well, I guess we'll just... What are the odds that Jaggedy or Jack is up? None? Zero? I'm not even going to bother checking Jaggedy or Jack. It's probably be, watch Jaggedy or Jack would probably be up. Juno. Port Juno. Alright. It's good enough. 500 gil, that's that's a steal. <laughs> Saves me so much time, 500 gil's a steal. Alright. Oh, look at it, it's Juno. Hooray! So happy to be in Juno. Now, where is the dude here? To Kazam, right? This is Kazam. Uh, no, that's not Kazam. This is Kazam. No, that's not Kazam. Is this the guy I have to go to? Uh, down here. This is Kazam. I think he's down here. If I remember right. Oh, but I have to go to the Mog House. I have to get my keys. Alright. Awesome. I guess we'll feed the Chocobo, too. We'll go do that. Let's go feed the Chocobo. Um, actually, you know what? I can't even feed the Chocobo. I didn't do the other quest yet. <laughs> Where you have to go out and get get him from, like, uh, Lafayette. I didn't do that yet. I'll have to do that as well. Alright. Awesome. Uh, did I get this? Let's just grab it if I didn't. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully I don't have to rent a room. Do I have to talk to that guy and rent a room? Please tell me that's just patched out where I don't need to talk to people and get a rent a room. Please let it just be automatic. Good, it's automatic. <laughs> I remember whenever I used to play, I always, you always had to talk to the guy and say, yes, give me a rent a room. That was so ridiculous. Um, let's see. Airship Quest. Goodle. Port Juno. Um. Where is Goodle? Uh, da 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 da. I7. For Goodle. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. I just saw Clark was saying that um, there will be the sale. Very likely, I was seeing he said that. Uh, depends on what's for sale for KDM. I don't usually buy boxes that don't 
have game content in them. And then it depends on what that game content is. Um, I like ones, I like robust game content, like the Echoes. I think Echoes is where I draw the line. Usually if it's not Echoes, like I didn't get Grimmery or anything, but hopefully there's stuff like that. Um, it would be great if they had the next beta release. Let's quit the, let's, where am I going? Where am I need? all this junk. Where are my keys? Not there. Keys? There they are. Uh, it would be great if they had something, you know, that had game content. It would be like Echoes of Death 4. I would jump all over Echoes of Death 4 if Echoes of Death 4 or some other kind of if the new vignette or something like that. But mostly I don't, I'm not going to do, um, I don't usually get white boxes that have just a gear or something. So like Grimmery. Now, some of them, like, uh, what's it called? The Ringtail Fox. I like Ringtail Fox because that added like a whole new thing. It added like a bookmark. So if, if the game content that's included in that stuff is worth it, like it's unique or something, gear, ah. I don't mind the gear, but gear is like so... So much gear in the game. I know the whole ge the whole game focuses around gear. I know I I get that, but uh, gear is not super enticing enough for me to spend like forty or fifty bucks on Grimmery. So where's this guy? I think it's here, right? Departures entrance. This is it. See here. Good all. There you are. What's up, buddy? Uh, I want an airship pass. 140,000. Uh, yes. Please, give me an explanation. Oh, you want keys. Cool, and then you'll check their authenticity. Cool. Is there any way to give you fake ones? I highly doubt it. But here you go. There's your keys. Hooray! Airship pass for Kazam! How much is it? Let's go. Let's go. Are you not the person to talk to? Yes, 200 bucks. It's a steal for this waypoint. Or home point, I mean. <laughs> Better believe I'm going to fast travel here. All right. How much time do I have to wait? Nine minutes. All right. We've got time. Let's look at what we're doing. Let's set up a game plan. Suggestions? What should we do? Granted, I'm a very ill... I'm a very gimped... 3515 thief. <laughs> or 35 red page 15 thief. Very gimped. Uh, what should we do? We've got a lot of time here, chat. A lot of time. Ugh. The authentic Final Fantasy XI experience. If I had crafting, I would totally be doing it. I don't have any of that. Uh, I've got nothing to craft. I'm a very, very bad, very, very low, <laughs> low on funds 11 player. <laughs> Can't afford to craft. Can't, I should be fishing off the dock here. I should be crafting. <laughs> but alas... I can't do any of that, so we'll just sit here and wait. Uh, let's set up. What are we doing? Let's go. So we're going to fly, then we'll warp back to Juno. Uh, I should have set my home point here. A smart person would have set their home point, so they don't need to pay to get to warp back. But uh, So we've done this. Kazam Airship Pass. Let's do the uh, Al-Zahib one now. Blue Mage is such a ridiculous thing. I was looking at the Blue Mage quest, man. Blue Mage quest. Whew. I have to go to... You have to get, like, the Sun Sand. Oh, man. That's just going to be sitting around in Valkram until the Sun Sand spawns. And then there's, like, something else. Blue Mage quest is another one that's going to take forever. I'll have to do that offline. Or off stream, I mean. Let's see. 
So, we want... We're going to get ourselves the Tenshoto. Tenshoto Invite. This is what we need next after we take this airship. Tenshoto Invite. So I need the membership. Let's get Tenshoto Membership is... Um, yes. Okay, Port Bastic. Across from the airship once inside. Uh, we need Silver Owl to do all this for the Tenshoto Invite. Uh, do I need to do Tenshoto Invite to be able to go to Al Zahib? Is that a thing? Do I really need to do that? Do I need to be the whole Tenshoto Invite to go to Al Zahib? I hope not. Uh, let's see, found Al Zahib. What do I need to be able to ride the boat? <laughs> um, in order to get here, where's the quest? So. Um, so. Uh, let's go. Maharu, no, is it a Maharu? Is that where I go? Let's see, boat pass. All right, boarding permit you get from this quest, which requires Tenshoto member card. I do need to do that. Oh man, come on. Uh, would you recommend against starting your Season 3 watch at Kingdom Death to finish Season 2? No. Season 3 is a very specific thing. Uh, season 2... Finished. F season 2 is on a hiatus. It's not done. Uh, I will continue Season 2. But Season 2 is on a, is on a hiatus. So what that means is it's at a point where you could... You could watch it and cons to reach a satisfying conclusion. Um, I'm taking a break from it right now, and then I'll start season four. Uh, season four will be a whole new different thing. So season two and season three are not related in any manner. Season three is specifically a live streaming thing, so I can play with people who want to play with me. Season three is like 20 episodes now, I think. Or 19, and the only thing I've ever done is play with people. Or there's like two or three episodes where I played by myself, and then it was just like, man, I'm not going to do this because that's not the point. So season three is literally just me playing with other people. There's no, it's all tabletop simulator because that's the only way I can play with other people. So season three is its own thing, its own vibe. There's nothing, uh, no, it's not even at the table. It's all tabletop simulator. Season four will be beginning uh, probably in May. Season four will be its own thing as well. Season two will continue after that. Not after season four. I just... Um, I don't know exactly when I'll start season two of KDM. Or re restart season two, but... The goal right now is to do... Uh, I, I ran a poll on the channel... People want me to do table our townsfolk tussle seemed to be the one that won the most votes, <laughs> so I I just I just blitzed through the townsfolk tussle. Um, as you saw, I just I did that pretty much in a week. I did all four episodes pretty much in a week. I think it took like eight days, uh, and then I'm finishing up the homebrew because that was the next thing that people wanted me to do was just to work on my other projects during the hiatus. So I've been pushing the homebrew with CCG pretty hard. Um, I work on that pretty much every night. So uh, I've been pushing that really hard. And then Massive Darkness 2, I just got it done. I just set it up. I'm gonna record Massive Darkness 2. Two or three games probably, Massive Darkness 2. 
and then the goal is to get season one episode 50 done before I start season four and season two prologue before I start season four so hopefully those are the things before uh before May now the road to Ottawa again uh, I need a 10 Shoto membership card so I'm gonna have to do this so we're gonna have to go to Bastic looks like we're camping leaving Lizzie <laughs> Yeah, so I try to do everything I can with the poll. Um, whatever the what, I'm, I'll run another poll now. The townsfolk tussles done. The other thing is, um, I mean, I, I'm gonna. I want to do D and D stuff too. I really want to do that. This, um, the things that aren't on the poll. As I said, the very last poll vote was the uh, continuing a pace, <laughs> which was a joke towards the. The updates, King of Death updates. Uh, season 3 and Final Fantasy XI are just not... Those are just things I'm going to do. Just variety, right? Just, just to always do have something going on the channel all the time. And that will just be it. Uh, those two things are just going to be staples going forward. They're not going to be... They're not things that take up my time. So like for today, for example. Um, I'm doing this because I started earlier... Because um, season three, I ended up losing power last episode with the Giga Lion, so I, I lost power midway through. And the people who were playing, I was playing with, said they could play with me again, but I needed to start live streaming earlier. So normally, I, I always get home and I around this time when I started this two o'clock is when I always do it. Um, but to, the two p.m. Eastern, but. I started early, <laughs> so I had the, the day available, and I know I said I was going to continue streaming Final Fantasy XI. I had done a pre pre episode and everything, so um, things like that aren't don't take away. But uh, whatever the poll said, Townsfolk Tussle is what people wanted me to just focus on Townsfolk Tussle, and I did. I focused as much as I could on it, and I got it done in a week. But I'll probably run another poll. I'm going to do Massive Darkness because I said I would. So I'm going to do that, uh, and then that poll will probably be maybe do D&D &D stuff, or maybe play uh, Vagrant Song. I do have Vagrant Song, too. I would like to play Vagrant Song. Vagrant Song is another, uh, like, boss battler. So maybe either I'll do D&D &D stuff. Now, D&D &D stuff is stuff I, I want to do in general anyway. I'll probably start doing some, but I do what the polls say. <laughs> Uh, and that's what I'll do. So whatever whatever gets the most interest is what I'll do. So if no one ever wants me to do D and D stuff, I'll it just it'll just keep getting pushed on the back burner. <laughs> Eventually, I would I would like I talked about uh, um, last time I streamed eleven. I talked about what it is I want to do for D and D. I I did a um, a whole conversion of KDM monsters. I've converted them, because I've used them when I DM. And the Butcher one is the one that my group really liked. Uh, the Butcher one is unique because uh, the way I did Butcher is I did it like a Ravenloft, if you're familiar with Ravenloft. And I made him like his own entity of his own... Um... I'm going to stop spinning the camera. <laughs> uh, I made him like his own entity. And uh, when I ran ran that for people... Because I, I, my D&D group doesn't always play King... KDM, so some of them have no idea, but of all the ones I've converted, the Butcher ones seem to be the most. It was like a, a Ravenloft horror setting with Butcher being like uh, Jason Voorhees, where he was just this reoccurring thing that teleported around, because that's what the Butcher does. So I've always wanted to share that with everybody, so that's what I would do. That would be the first thing I would do for Oh no, just videos of how to do it. Yes. That's the other thing. Now that now, now the Towns for Tussle will be taken off the list, Vagrant Song would go on the list. Um, I don't know. I've heard... See, I've, I backed Anne's Trespass. I don't know. Are they... Is that supposed to be shipping soon too? <laughs> Anne's Trespass is another one I'll probably play. Um, but... First and foremost, KDM is always what I'll do, and then 11 is what I'll always do, because I love 11. And 11 doesn't really take up that much time. 
I mean, this I could stream Eleven for two or three hours and uh, <laughs> accomplish stuff. See, like even right now, I'm accomplishing stuff, and all I'm doing is talking about KDM. <laughs> Eleven's such a great game because you can always accomplish anything you want. Let's go around the... This is the only time I'm probably ever going to ride the airship if I don't have to. So let's go ahead and explore the airship so we get some airship footage. <laughs> What's up? What's up, old slum? Woo, airship footage. We've accomplished the thumbnail! Very quickly. It only took like an under an hour. We accomplished the thumbnail. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it. Let's, let's glitch out. Let's, let's break this. Oh, I fell. I didn't want to fall. I wanted to walk around, but now I fell. Well, I glitched over the railing. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I wanted to walk around up on the railing and get up into the blades. But now I've fallen. Now I'm just... Now there's nothing I could do. So let's just chill on the outside of the airship. <laughs> Man, I didn't want to fall over the railing. Oh well. Fun times, breaking the railing. Um, no, there has not been any news on that. That is also a game I'm very interested in. The thing with that is, who I don't know what to, I don't know what to think about that. Um, it looks neat. That game looks. I mean, that game sounds neat. <laughs> Uh, I'm very interested in it from their pitches. However, I have not seen any news on it, and I have not seen the game being played. So, from their pitches, that game sounds amazing. So, I'm looking forward to it. But I can only go on what they've said. So, yeah, I should I should probably put that poll out now that Townsfolk Tussle's over. Um, I've got Massive Darkness 2 all set up, so... And I'm probably going to stream here for another hour... Depending on how much stuff I can do, right? There's only so much I can do, so it looks like, as I've been talking here, it looks like we really need to do this Tenshoto membership uh, card. We need to really do this. So we're going we're gonna to do this. Uh, this requires going to Bastic, so we'll go to Bastic, and then we'll, uh, you know, let's hang around in Bastic. Let's see if we can get Leaping Lizzie. That'd be great. I killed Leaping Lizzie once last time I was running through Bastic. It didn't drop anything for me. Kazam, awesome. I'm excited for Kazam. We'll grab the home point, warp back to Juno, do the Tenshoto card, then warp to Bastic. Uh, spend all my gill, all the gill that I've been working very hard for. We'll just spend it. We'll just spend it all. Um, we'll go to Bastic, try to kill Leaping Lizzie, uh, get the Tenshoto invite card, come back. Maybe we'll get the Chocobo, right? I have the Chocobo thing started. Let's, let's check the Chocobo... Quest. Mean Machine. Um, unlucky Rat. Oh, this is uh, this is the Warp Quest. This is the Silent Oil Warp Quest. I need to get him some Silent Oil, but I don't have any uh, way of doing that. Creepy Crawlies that I was doing this. I showed this in the offline. I made some money for in the Crawler Calculi because they give you 400 gil. So I started that. Choke one loose. Here it is. Chocobo has run away from the stables in Upper Juno. So we can do this. I think this is Lafayette. So if we're going to go to Bastic, hey, might as well just do this Chocobo on the loose, right? Uh, look up Chocobo on the loose. He's in Lafayette, I think. So. Uh... He will speak of a Chocobo's love for running in Lothian Plateau. Find Chocobo... So Lothian. Yeah, it's in Lothian. So if we're going to go to... Um, are you kidding me? I also have to go to Sandoria. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll do... Yay! Kazam! I did not look into Wild Ascent. Which one is Wild Ascent? Oh, yes. Awesome. Kazam. Look, Massive Darkness 2, all things aside, right? I've looked into it. I've set it up. I've read the rules. Um, some of the 
classes look kind of weird, but Mass of Darkness 2, it does look really cool, right? I'm just going to say that. It looks really cool. It... So I've noticed some things, right? I notice I need to be a little more specific in the way that I say things. Uh, I have noticed that some people got Townsfolk Tussle because I recommended it, but then did not... I, I, I might have worded it. I hope... I never wanted to give the impression that Townsfolk Tussle would replace KDM, right? Uh, it's not. It's a, it's, it's, it's a game... I'm pretty sure I said this when I first reviewed it on the Kickstarter page, even. I viewed Townsfolk Tussle as replacing, like, game night games, right? Because sometimes when we play D&D, my group specifically, if everybody doesn't show up, sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll play, like, Root or we'll play Arcadia Quest, right? Games that are that fit for D&D people... Uh, or Descent, or something like that, right? That's... So, I, I, always, I really hope that when I recommended Townsfolk Tussle, I made that clear. It's a KDM AI battler that's really cool, but should be looked at as for, like, a game night situation. And I've noticed some people said they were disappointed because the game is really light. And, I, and then they say, like, well, you said it was like KDM. Yes. I did say it was like KDM, but I didn't. I didn't mean that it replaces. It's not like a lifestyle legacy game, and I, I felt bad about that. And Massive Darkness Two. I don't know how exactly I'm going to phrase it. Uh, after playing it, I think it's a very interesting board game that looks to mimic roguelike games. And again, would feel like it. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be. It's not a descent replacement. I can tell that right now, and it's not a uh, like Warhammer Quest replacement. It's not super deep, but it's you know it's, it's fun. It's like Zombie Side or something, right? It's it's like a it's like a light lighter version of those games. So I, I think I need to be more clear. I can't just do off the cuff recommendations anymore, <laughs> which I feel bad about. Are there any more home points here? I think there's one more over here, right? Um, is there one way over here? Oh, Kazam, you're so cool. What's, I wonder, can I level here? I could probably level here, right? I bet if I go out here, I could probably, I could probably do some leveling. Maybe I should hit 36 real quick while I still have my EXP up. Um, let me double check that I got this. Yes, so I do have this as a home point now. Let's go out here. I wonder if these Mandragoras, I wonder if I can kill these Mandragoras. I should be able to level up here, right? I was leveling in Valkram. Valkram things were just, just got to be too weak to be worthwhile to me. Like some of the crabs and stuff. So I bet these Mandragoras, oh, they're still DC. I wonder if that's because they attack twice. It's kind of a boss battle. It's four seekers versus four monsters, and you have to decide between defeating, uh, capturing monsters for different wards. I'll look into. I'll look into Wild Ascent. So there's some games that like I don't. Like what was the one that just was up? Um, people ask me about it, but I don't know. It just didn't look for me. Kingdoms Forlorn. Kingdoms Forlorn. I guess it looks cool, but to me it didn't look super cool. <laughs> it looked a little bit messy. Kingdoms Forlorn. Uh, so I'll look into Wild Ascent. I'm going to try one of these Mandragoras. And if it kills me, whatever. I'm death warping uh, to Sandoria. Oh no, I want to go to Juno. Let's see here. Well, uh, I'm probably going to die. Because I didn't have Protect up. <laughs> Because I'm terrible. Okay, let's see if I can... Well, if I kill it, I kill it. If I don't, I don't. And I just death warp. I wonder if it's cheaper to warp to Juno from Kazam. Well, whatever. 
Wow, I'm really skilling up off these. I need to be fighting more DCs. Well, I know where I need to go. So if we decide to level up, I know I know where I need to go. I need to go to uh, Jugner, Jugner Forest, uh, killing some. Um, what is it? Killing. Uh, uh, I've never gotten the impression from any of the talent that was supposed to replace KDM. I know. I feel bad about it. I should have been more clear. I don't know if it was just me, but I, I have seen in like. Um, Lantern's Reign and stuff that people say that, like, it was pitched as a KDM replacement. I never said that. I hope I never gave that impression. Uh, I said it was a... I said it specifically replaces the vignette. I would much rather play Townsfolk Tussle than... If, if, I was, if someone asked me, hey, would you teach me how to play Kingdom Death? Um, I would much rather teach them... Uh, Uh, Wild Arms, right? That's the, uh... Wild Arms is the, uh... Western RPG, right? I have played Wild Arms. I think I've played Wild Arms 3. And uh, maybe Wild Arms 2. Yes. I have played the, the, the Western RPG. I did not play them long. But, um... Yes. No, it is. Uh, those Wild Arms games do exist. Uh, X Seed. Did I get that right? I think the company X Seed makes them. Uh, I think they're the same company that makes Tactics Ogre. But yes, the Wild Arms RPGs were very neat. So let's go. Oh man, we're spending so much money. Travel to another home point. Here we go. Let's go to Juno. <laughs> uh, Upper Juno this time. Yes, Upper Juno. No, wait. Do I need to go? I don't even think I need to go to Upper Juno, right? I've already talked to him. So I just... Oh, no. I do need to go. Okay, let's go. I need to go to Lower Juno. Travel to another home point. Let's go to Lower Juno. Uh, do I have the one that's near the tension? I do. We're spending all of our money. <laughs> We're saving time, spending money. You can spend money to save time. Let's go, right? Time, value. Let's go. Ten Shoto. Uh, and there should be a third option for me now. I think I have enough fame here. I've traded so many cabbage. Ah, there it is. Secret third option. Uh, Ten Shoto is a special place. Ten Shoto invite. Branch and Bastic. Let's go. And then I'll get the... We're spending so much money. Oh my gosh. We're going to need to do a little bit of farming to, to just offset these teleport warps that I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm going to set my home point in Upper Juno. Then I'll warp back there. Because I'm going to need to come back. So. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. Let's get this over with. Go down here. Uh, I'm glad that I can provide the Final Fantasy experience, Final Fantasy XI experience to everyone. I'm glad. I'm glad I can provide you with running around town, death warping, talking to NPCs. Glad I can provide this to you. I'm glad riding airships, waiting for airships, chasing chocobos. This is what it is. I'm glad I can provide this for you. <laughs> I hope everybody who enjoys my Final Fantasy XI set this as your home point. Appreciates that I'm not going to sugarcoat the Final Fantasy XI experience. I'm going to give it to you as I remember it. <laughs> as I played it way back on the PS2. Uh, Lathian Plateau. Can I walk there? Uh, this is Jung, or this is Battalia. Does Battalia go to Lathian? Is it faster for me to go here? Oh no, it's definitely not. 
I want to walk, I need to go to Bastic because I need a 10 shuttle invite. So it's definitely not. This is definitely not faster. Let's go. Lothian is actually. Yeah, Lothian's from Bastic. No, Konstadt's from Bastic. Lothian's from Sandoria. Uh, what's a nostalgic gaming for me? Pre 11? Was it? <laughs> uh. Nostalgic video gaming for me is probably SNES. I mean, all of it's nostalgic, right? I mean, how, how do you define nostalgic? Right? Is it only when you did as a kid? Is it anything? Because uh, I grew up playing SNES. That's like the earliest I think I've ever played video games was SNES. I mean, I played NES too, but NES was slightly before me i mean i owned an nes as a kid but it wasn't it's the same thing like saying that like owning a ps3 out of era out of ps4 era right so i don't i don't own a ps5 so i would love to own a ps5 so my nostalgic gaming because i can't get a hold of one and i'm not like camping it like i do the uh kdm shop <laughs> i just don't have that much Vested interest in camping one to get a PS5. But I would love to have one. So, like, am I nostalgic gaming by only owning a PS4? It's how you define it, right? That's what's difficult. Uh, meet you back where this tension... Oh, he's across from the airport. So he's going to be in port, Bastic. Yeah, this is going to be him. Port Bastic. Let's go. Yes, please. Man, it costs so much money. Final Fantasy XI is nostalgic to me because uh, it's the first MMO. No, it's not even the first MMO I played. It's the first MMO I ever vested in. Um, the first MMO I played would be EverQuest? Possibly? I don't know what the first MMO I played. Depends on how you define MMO. Pretty sure I said this once before in my, in, uh, uh, my older eleven series before I the one that I was doing on Dark Star before I switched to Topaz and then Topaz shut down and now I've switched to Wings. It's hard to keep this series going. <laughs> but in my original series, I think I said I bought the PS2 uh online thing and the H the HDD drive because I wanted to play Resident Evil Outbreak, which is one of my favorite games ever. Speaking of nostalgic gaming, I just saw that Monkey uh Monkey's Island. They're gonna make a new Monkey's Island. Monkey's Island is one of my favorite adventure games ever. Uh, and I own all the Monkey's Island. There's a lot of nostalgic games that I played when I was a kid that are getting remade. I also saw that uh, Chaos Gate is getting remade. Well, not remade. They're releasing a new Chaos Gate. That is fascinating. Cha the, Warhammer the Warhammer Chaos Gate. The game that... The old... Oh, that, was, that was one of the super old tactical games. I still own it. Uh, I loved Chaos Gate. I saw they're remaking that. Along with the new Monkey's Island. They're going to make Monkey's Island 3. I should play Monkey's Island. I've thought about it. I thought about playing Monkey's Island on the channel. But I was like, dude, does anybody know Monkey's Island? Oh, Monkey's Island is so awesome. Guybrush Threepwood. So I need to look for these warehouses. Sorry, I got I to gotta continue. They're over here. I need to look for Silent. He's over here. Um, let me get this Tenshoto invite. I got to do it. Tenshoto membership card. Where is he? Then we'll go to Leaping Lizzie. We'll camp Leaping Lizzie. Um, Control membership card. He's here. I, I'm pretty sure he's in this warehouse right here. Uh, Port Bastic. Uh, talk to Jabber to receive the thing. Okay. Let's talk to Jabber. So I guess pre-11, I mean, I, I was gaining pre-11, obviously, right? Final Fantasy seven, I think, was like, no, that was not the first. Uh, I, I played Final Fantasy, first Final Fantasy on the NES. I think that, so that was, there we go, I got my Tenshoto form. Now I, now I can, we can go to Al-Zahib now, I think. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in order to go to Adoragam. Um, let's see. So I got my tension up, then hand, head back um, to the Mithra and give her 
Application form grants you an invite and a membership card. Okay. And then once I had the membership card, then I, I'm pretty sure I can just go to Al Zahib. Al Zahib would be awesome. I should really get Blue Mage. Man, I love. Blue Mage would be awesome to play. So. Uh, why does it look like the stream froze? Did stream freeze? I'm sorry if the stream froze. Did it freeze? If it froze, I'm sorry. Why did it do that? Okay. Let's go. Let's go to Leaping Lizzie. Um. What else would I need to do here? Oh no, we're going to Leaving Lizzie, then we're going to Lofty End. <laughs> oh, so, so, so sorry. See, this is this is the type of thing, like, I should have... Let's, let's stop right here. Let's check this out. I'm just glad that... My entertainment. Can, you can ask me questions, and I can help you, and I can... Uh... Oh wait, uh, Blink, uh, see I really want Blink. Blink would be so cool, but I think I need all my money. <laughs> I think I'm going to be teleporting around and I think I'm going to waste all my money. So I, I can't afford Blink, as much as I really would love Blink. Um, let's go. Let's go check Leaving Lizzie and we'll walk out to Lafayette and we'll do this. Chuggable Quest. Uh, so nostalgic gaming for me is that. Um, I grew up playing, um, so the other thing about D&D &D content, right? I grew up playing D&D &D and Hero Quest, like those were, and, and Warhammer Quest, right? I never got Warhammer Quest when I was a kid, but I always wanted Warhammer Quest. Warhammer Quest was a weird one because it was hard to get a hold of because it wasn't really released in the U.S. a lot. Oh my gosh, I can get Signet. Please give me Signet. Oh, I would love you for Signet. Did you cast Signet on me? Oh, I haven't had Signet in so long. <laughs> um, so, like, I grew up playing, like, that stuff. A ton of 3.5 and stuff. Uh, AD&D, 3.5. I never, I never played 4th just because 3.5 was so cool. I never... I never, I wasn't one of those, uh, I know a lot of people disliked 4th edition D&D. I never played it because I just liked 3.5. <laughs> Which is so weird. That's always one thing, now that I've, see the more that I've, um, the more that I've learned that sometimes people ask me questions, right? Like, what do you think of, uh, Townsville Tussle and stuff like that. People ask, what do you think of Townsville Tussle? What do you think of this game? You should look into this game. And, um, I never, I never did, I never gave people advice, right? So, when, I've learned now that when I say, oh, I never played 4th edition, right? Because I like 3.5. Like, that will come off as me saying that 4th edition is bad and 3.5 is just better, so I never played it. No, it's just that... I liked 3.5, so I didn't need to play 4th. Like, I have no opinion on 4th edition, right? It doesn't mean that it's bad. It doesn't mean that it's good. I just don't have any experience with it. I just never felt the need to play it. So it's it's stuff like that where I need to, I need to, I need, I can't do off-the-cuff stuff. I feel so bad about the Townsfolk Tussle thing. Um... And I need to put more thought into... Okay, so, uh, we got screwed. <laughs> we get... No Leaping Lizzie? Uh, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll give her one spawn. How about that? It's been an hour. I ran... I opened up the server slightly before I started playing. So I know I ran the server on my computer for at least 30... 20 or 30 minutes before I started the stream. So, uh, Lizzie here... She's on a two to four hour window... And that should be open. So I'm going to kill this, and we're going to wait for one spawn. And we'll see if we get Lizzie. There, one of these was a placeholder. I'm not going to look on wide scan. It's just one of these two. I know that it was one of these three. Well, I know it was one of these two. Uh, this guy came over from the road. The guy on the road is not her placeholder. One of those other two was. Uh, this doesn't really matter to me. Because they're temporary items. 
Uh, I'll just take them just to get them off the... There. Just to get them off the map. Um, we'll wait. We'll give, we'll give Leaving Lizzie five minutes here for her respawn, and maybe she'll respawn now that I killed her placeholder. Her window is open. Her window's up. She's, she can spawn. She is active. We're, if she doesn't, then we're going to go on to Lothien and we're going to do this, we're going to do all these other missions. So, uh, we got our Tenshoto invite. We need, after we do Lothien, we'll go back to Upper Juno, which I think I set my home point. I need to check the chat log. Was I stupid enough and not check my, I set my home point in there. Please tell me I set my home point. Um, home point set. So it looks like in Upper Juno I set my home point. So we can just death warp back to Upper Juno. Um, after we give her five minutes. So that's awesome. We're doing well. We're, we're accomplishing stuff. We got all kinds of cool stuff we got going on. We're going to be able to go to... Al Zahib, man, we got Kazam off the. We, we're doing, we're doing good. Kazam, off the list. Uh, we're gonna get Chocobo off the list. Al Zahib off the list of things to do. I feel like we're we're sending in, we're establishing, uh, like all these like just quests that need to be done, like all these chores. <laughs> We're getting them off the list. Um, and once we do that, then we're all ready to go. Then I can start leveling. I'll level up off stream. Get to 40. We can do Red Mage um, AF. That'll be the next stream. Maybe I'll, I'll stream getting the sword for Red Mage AF. Um, the other thing I gotta really got to do... It sucks because I really need... Um, so the reason why I sub Thief while we're waiting for this five minute respawn. If anybody doesn't know, the way NM, not, okay. There are sun, sun NMs that spawn off lottery window, right? They're a, they're a lottery spawn in a window. So what that means is they have a placeholder. A placeholder is, uh, I'll show this wide scan. So you see all these monsters are all in this area. All these little red dots, these are all their names and everything. And what it is, is the NM, the, the rare monster, will spawn in a window when the respawn timer of the placeholder comes up. So what I just did was I killed one of the two. It was one of the two lizards who were right here. If you look on wide scan, it's the fifth one of the first group is her exact placeholder. Uh... So here they are, they're respawning. So there's a five minute respawn, which is what we're doing. As you see, now the monsters are starting to respawn here. We should see all three of them respawn. There's two, so these are the, these are the placeholders. So she did not spawn, one of these two is the placeholder. Uh, so this is the first group. As you see, there's only four here. The fifth one was the one over here on the road there. So now the fifth one just respawned. So which one is actually so now we count one, two, three, four, five. This is the this guy right here. Uh, I don't know. It's one of the ones right here in front of me. It's one of these two. I would have to like pinpoint it down. I could look at the mob ID tag, whatever. But so that's how it works. So now I've explained lottery spawns, and let's walk to. Uh, we don't need to walk all the way to Lothian. We're gonna outpost warp there. So we're just going to. Uh, come up here to North Gustaberg and we'll go to the outpost and then we're going to outpost warp to Lothian. So, uh, that will still cost me money. <laughs> I'm burning through all my money. I'm going to be broke again. So that gets me back to what I was going to talk about. So, the reason why I sub thief, so the way this game works, just in case, um, you know. So, we have Guild Finder here. I really need this because the only way that I've set up for me to make money on this is I've edited so monsters drop their one gill per their monster level. Now, the skill finder is multiplying the amount that they're dropping, so that's why I'm getting, like, 70. So I'm killing level, like, 30 mobs, and I'm getting, like, 70, because it's multiplying it. 
So I really need this gill finder, like badly, because I have no other way of making gill. <laughs> so that's why I need to really sub Thief. So if you're wondering who the hell subs Thief on Red Mage, you're correct. That is 100%. That is good Good for you. <laughs> uh, that is terrible. Yeah, I'm terrible. No one would ever do this. What I should be subbing is Black Mage or... Uh, just Black Mage, really what I should be subbing. Uh, there's there's cases to be made where you could sub, I think, like Scholar, but I think the Int from Black Mage is what you want. I think, and the Enfeebling uh, boost. So there's the Outpost. See the background is where I'm going. We're gonna we're gonna outpost warp to Lafayette. Um, but I need that and sneak or uh, not sneak attack. Tr uh, treasure hunter. So if you go to treasure hunter here, oops, where the abilities. Oh well. So there's treasure hunter increases the drop rate from monsters. Now because I'm gonna need to craft my own stuff. Like, everything? <laughs> I really need all the trash mob drops to either sell them, um, teleportation. Oh, what can I buy here? If there's something I could just buy here real quick, because we happen to own this. Uh, buy. No. Ah, uh, I was, like, oh, I, I don't know why I was thinking, I had to do the garrison. I might be able to do the garrison stuff just to get garrison tunic. Like, that's better than what I'm wearing. Uh, 100 gil. Teleport me with gil. I know, home country for 100 gil. No, don't do that. I wanted to go to a different outpost. <laughs> or, uh, actually, I could do that. So, it's going to cost me 400. So, this cost me a little more gil, but he's going to teleport me back to Bastic. <laughs> yes, sure. Teleport with gil. Sure. So, I give this guy 100 gil. He's going to teleport me back to Bastic. Then the guy he, ta he teleports me to will teleport me out to Lothian. <laughs> this dude here will teleport me out to Lothian. All right. As soon as he loads in. So, oh, the other interesting thing, right? So here's something that I'm trying to work on. Uh, I wanted, it would be neat, because see, like, there's all this downtime and stuff that would be... So there's stuff like, because I'm in a unique situation where I can actually code the whole server to, to do whatever I want, uh... Have you ever seen, if there's, there's like randomizers, right? There's video game randomizers. Now, because of the coding that I can do on this, I could link it. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I could link it to, to the YouTube chat and then run a poll. And then I could have a GM do stuff to me <laughs> uh, by, by running a second window linked to the poll that enters the GM's chat box. And then they could just teleport me around and do all kinds of random crap. Spawn NMs. They could spawn Vertra on me if they wanted to. <laughs> so I've been looking into trying to do that. I think that would be interesting too. Is while I'm playing Eleven, that you could just vote in a poll and have Vertra spawn, <laughs> or King Behemoth. Right, just spawn it right on me. That would be very interesting. Uh, what is the name of the Lothian region? Is it the Koshlu region? No. What is the name of the stupid Lothian region? Is it the Gustaberg? No. Norvellan region, right? Isn't this it? No, it's not. I need to check the map. I don't know the name of the Lothian region. Region info. Conquest. Uh, Ron 4. Is it Norvellan? Was I correct? No, that's Devoy in Carpenter's Landing. Is it the Ron for it? Is it Ronford region? No, not Ronford. And Zuckelheim? Well, Zuckelheim will take me to Valkram. That's close enough, I guess. To Lothian? Sure. I'll teleport out to Zuckelheim. Too bad I don't need any more, uh, Emp. Uh, Zuckelheim region. Okay, teleport with Gil. Yeah, thanks. Have a wonderful journey. I could have just teleported to Maharu. What am I doing? Oh no, wait. Maharu is, is Taragani. Alright, let's go. Now, some of this stuff might still aggro me. I don't... doesn't matter. Let's just go Lothian. 
Uh, we'll get this Chocobo quest done. I wonder what else is over there by that Chocobo quest. Well, I could probably... Here. I'm going to kill these things quickly because I could get skill ups off of them or it could actually, you know, get experience and I need these beast coins. So that's the other thing, see, stealing. Uh, if I didn't suck at it. <laughs> uh, silver beast coins. So silver beast coins are great because I'm going to have to take up goldsmithing and then convert those into silver ignits and then I could craft the actual earrings. Not, not good ones, but I could actually craft some earrings for myself and, you know, gear. <laughs> Which is another thing I really need to do. Um... When I went to Sandoria, I joined the uh, Leatherworkers Guild, but I'll, I'll do leatherworking off off when I'm just, you know, doing stuff. Uh, leatherworking is something I desperately need to be able to do. And cloth craft, all these things. Uh, let's burn this guy down a little bit faster. Die, gambler. So at least this will give me some stuff. <laughs> um... Then the other thing is, like I said, with uh, Thief, it j it's just so advantageous to me to play Thief. And then you're probably like, well, why don't you just main Thief? Well, I could take Thief to 45, right? I'll probably have to do that. You're, it's, if you're thinking that, that's probably correct. Poets circle it, I'll have to sell that. That's probably correct thinking, right? Why didn't I just main Thief? But uh, Thief is not the best at soloing stuff, right? And I'm going to need to actually be able to, like, solo things. Like, not, not like, actual high-level stuff. And Red Mage and Blue Mage are the ones that can do that. There's also Beast Tamer. I might take up Beast Tamer. Uh, Beast Tamer is just boring. <laughs> uh, and they're, they're, they're good at... You could probably solo a lot of stuff with Beast Tamer, but maybe I'll look into taking up Beast Tamer. But it's Beast Tamer is so boring. Uh, not, I mean, obviously, if you're probably thinking, well, yeah, it's not different than the other job. You're correct, but I find it boring. <laughs> and I'm the one who has to play it. It's just not as cool. Uh, I'd rather be a Puppet Master, and Puppet Master's terrible. But at least Puppet Master, like, it's neat. I don't know. I guess I just don't like the idea of the jugs and charming and stuff. And you, and you pretty much always use the same jugs, like, all the time. You always use uh, Carry and Carry. Or carrying Cassie, I forget what her name was. Or the um I don't remember the name of that crab. But whatever it was, that crab is really good. Why can't I remember the name? Is it Capri Capri no. Capricious Cassie? That oh that's actually that is an actual NM, I think. I don't know the name of that uh, jug. <laughs> but the, the crab jug is really good. That's the one that all beast tamers usually used. For good reason. She's really good. So, let's see. Where am I going to get this Chocobo? Uh, Chocobo on loose. Lafayette. Chocobo tracks. E5. Map. Marker. No, not markers. Just, where's E5? Of course, it's way over there. Are you kidding? It's right near Ronfar? I should have teleported to Sandoria. Uh, what's here in Konstadt? I don't even know what's here. The Lumbering Lambert. <laughs> Am I remembering that right? Is it Lumbering Lambert that's here in Konstadt? What NM could I possibly kill? Stray Mary is not here. Stray Mary's in Konstadt. What's in Lafayette? What would I want to kill here? <laughs> what NM could possibly give me something valuable? Um, so we know we're going to E5 in Lafayette. Where are we? Um, don't you fall down there. Sorry, as I'm trying to pull up NMs. Uh, four spawn for the pendant. Oh, Lumbering Lambert is here. I can't believe I, remember. I, I can't believe some of the stuff I remember. Nothing. You've let me down, Lafayette. You've let me down.
I don't even know if... I, Lumbering Lambert, I don't even know if I'd want to kill Lumbering Lambert. I don't even remember what drops. Whatever drops is probably not worth it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Alright. E5, then we kill ourselves. We go back to... Actually, I guess we'll check for Jaggedy or Jack, because I'm going to walk all the way over there. Might as well check for Jaggedy or Jack. If there's an elemental up, there isn't. It's the weather is not elementally. Um, that's another thing. See, so you could change the weather. I could have all the a GM do all that stuff. Change weather, change time of day. I think that'd be pretty interesting and neat. Take a lot to code, but not impossible to do. Off we go. I don't even know if I have Hala. Should I go get Crag of Hala? No, nah, not gonna do that. We're very focused. We're we're not gonna get distracted. <laughs> Unless Lumbering Lambert spawns. Then maybe we'll mess around with Lumbering Lambert. With my luck, it will probably be Blood Boulder Fist Blood Hook or whatever the H and M is. There's battering ram. I think I could probably kill one of those. Lumbering Lambert, I don't even think drops anything. If I want the purple monk robe, or the monk belt. But what do I need the monk belt for? Um, yeah, I'm not even going to look. I think Lumbering Lambert spawns someplace around here. But it will, with my luck, it will be Boulderfist Blowhort, and then I'll get aggro, and then I'll die to an H&M. Good times, but not productive. <laughs> Another battering ram. I don't really want to fight you guys. So. You can. Go about your day. <laughs> Alright. Man, Chocobos will be so great. And I won't have to do this anymore. <laughs> Running around like this. <sighs> um, let's see, I also did like. Well, like I said, I played Monkey Island. That's that's very uh, nostalgic gaming. Let's see. Ultima. The Ultima RPGs. I played a lot of PC gaming. Ultimas are definitely neat. Did I did enjoy Ultima 4, was it? I think it was Ultima 4. Alright, how close are we? We're at E6. We want E5, which I think it's like way up against the rock, uh, the mountains, I think. If I remember doing this, it's way, way up here. The uh, little thing I need to read, or the little uh, glowing thing. It's up here against the mountains, up against the zone. You'll see nothing. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, nope, there, I think that's it. I think that's it. Jungle Tracks. Oh, I can't believe I remember this stuff. Yes. It'd be great if I could do Chocobo Breeding, but I can't. Man, Chocobo Breeding was so fun in 11. Um, it was so long. It took like a whole month. <laughs> 30 days. I remember I spent so much time uh, trying to do it, like, when it first came out, uh, trying to get one of the first people to get, uh, like, a colored chocobo. All right, let's, where's those battering? Oh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna check on, what's his name? Like I said, I would, let's check Jaggedy or Jack. He's right here, I'm pretty sure. It would be neat to get him. If I got Jaggedy or Jack, I would switch. <laughs> If I could get Jaggedy or Jack, I would definitely switch to Thief Main. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Thief Main would help a lot in these situations right now. Because I'd have Flea and stuff, but... Alright, Jaggedy or Jack, right? Isn't this... Yes, he's up here. 
And then we can death warp. Oh man, if Jaggedy or Jag, I would. I've never gotten um, the drop from Jaggedy or Jack. I killed Jaggy or Jack. He was just never worth the like investment. And I, I when I played eleven, I was like a sixty thief. I think there were certain NMs that you wanted to camp with Treasure Hunter two, and you needed to be like certain levels where they wouldn't aggro you. And I remember one of them was like Castle Oz. You needed to be like in in the fifties to keep the stuff there from from not aggroing you. So I remember I got to like fifty thief and then there was something else um where you wanted to get to um 60 so All right, off to Sandoria, and we will warp again to uh, Upper Juno, which already is my home point. I really should just try to kill myself. So, that's what we'll do. Back to Upper Juno. Let's go. Death warp time. I forget how close the Mog House is. Hopefully the Mog House is, like, right here. So, where is it? Where is it? Mog House is not right here. Mog House is way, way away. Centoria! First time Centoria has made an appearance on stream. I've been to Windurst on stream, and I've been to Biastic on stream, I've been to Juno on stream, I've been to Kazam on stream. Centoria! I have not been to on stream. So. Good job, Sandoria. <laughs> First appearance. Let's go to um, getting ourselves killed. Switch to level one job. We're back to Upper Juno. Talk to the next thing. Get the next part of the quest. And we shall continue getting our Chocobo license. And we'll get to Al Zahib today, and then we'll probably end stream. Al Zahib would be a great place to end that would be that'd be cool all right let's change job main job warrior sure good enough all right let's go save myself 500 gil i definitely need that 500 gil <laughs> i really need warp that's something else i gotta I really need warp. I wonder I wonder how much scroll of instant warp is. I think they're they're like a lot of conquest points. The other thing is I really need to save my conquest points because <laughs> that's the gear I'm gonna be relying on for the first 
first like stretch of this game because once I can beat the dragon then I can do like sneak in a viz to do rank 3 and rank 4 and then I can actually use that gear will be very helpful um very helpful let's see I think you are the person who will let me spend rank points right Who gives me rank points? You. Um, common items, all ranks. Scroll instant warps only 10 points? Oh my gosh, why was I not getting these? Yes. Oh, it's 750 CP. That's what I thought. Um... Whatever, we're gonna get it. How much points do I need to have? This will really help cut down on time. Well, let's just go out here and die. <laughs> and we'll go finish the next leg of the Chocobo quest. And then I gotta feed the stupid Chocobo, which I've got the drops. I went and did it. Um, let's see if we can punch some bats or something. Isn't... There we go. Punch this rabbit. <laughs> dint, dint, dint. Okay. Rabbit, go ahead and kill me. I'm disengage from you. And I'm gonna punch this rabbit. Alright, it's death warp. Death warp time. Hopefully. Let's go over here and punch this rabbit too. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. So we get this. We go to the last thing. Uh, we got to go to Konstadt now. I'm pretty sure. We'll turn in our Tenshoto invite. Um, Chocobo on the loose. We go back to Upper Juno. Oh no. What a shocking turn of events. Turn to home point. Yeah. Oh no. I died. Who would have foreseen this tragedy? Um, turn to Upper Juno. Feet to Brutus. Wait, I have to head back to the Sandoria stables? Are you kidding? I was just there. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, scratch this. We might just be doing Al Zahib. <laughs> God, these quests are so long. I don't want to go back to the... Cool. All right, let's just go back to the Tenshiro. <laughs> oh, quests, why are you so long? All right, so we go back to Tenshiro, give them my invite, um, and we can go to Maharu, and I think we can just go to Al Zahib from there. That'd be great. I don't think I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Um, I'll double check. But let's go. Um. So I got the members card. Let's check here for Al Zahib. Uh, Alright. So, we got that Road to Aragon. Uh, all I need is I have the members card 
Talk to Four Soul and Neptar's Spire. So I need to go back here. And then he'll give me three options. So where are you, Four Soul? Let's go. I'm here for you. He's going to give me three options. Cool. Cool. Oh, third option. Uh, wait, what did he say? He gives you three options. Choose the third one. After the cutscene, talk to him a second time. Okay. <laughs> Come on, game. Why you gotta make me talk to him a second time? <laughs> All right. Um, I want to go. Um, okay, so how do we get this boarding permit? So, for I ask you to collect some items. If you choose the advanced pack, you need pack or beginner path. Uh, crab apron, dance of fly, wear magic skull. Oh, are you kidding me? I either do the two sub job quests? Are you kidding me? I don't remember that. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're doing the sub job quests. That sounds like fun. I'll have to do I'm I'll farm that way. Oh, we're going beginner. Are you kidding? Sure. All right. Let me think about it. You, you, dude. <gasps> I don't, we're not getting on the Al Zahid boat today, that's for sure. Oh, man, I was throwing that stuff away. When I was camping, um... Whatchamacallit, I threw I just threw it away. <laughs> I didn't know I needed it still. I don't remember that. <sighs> Are you kidding? Well, let's go to Valkyrie, I guess. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I gotta do all the subject quests again. Let's go, um Change jobs. No, let's... Alright. Should we should I stick around? Should I do this? Should I just end this? <sighs> Alright, let's see. What's the other thing I could do? Well, the other one is... Oh, are you kidding? So I'm not going... It looks like I'm not going to Al Zahib anytime soon. What's the other one? The, uh... Chuggable and loose. Where do I gotta go for this? So I just have to go back to... Um... Southern Sandoria. Southern Sandoria. Oh my gosh. Alright, well... <laughs> this looks like a job for more off-stream stuff. Uh... Gonna have to farm up all those stupid sub shop items again. And then farm up, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, here, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna end on a high note. I know, we're gonna go try to get an NM. I know where there's an NM right now. We'll teleport out there, because I'm gonna have to do it anyway. <sighs> we'll teleport out there. 
kill this NM. Let's change jobs. Main job. Red mage. Are you kidding? This is just... <laughs> oh my gosh. Because we have to go out there anyway. Because I'm going to have to get all the sub-job items. So let's uh, just warp out there now to Maharu. And we'll start there for the sub-job items. But we'll end the stream on killing this NM if it's up. I'm pretty sure it will be up. Um... Windurst region, no, Zuklang. I think this is Maharu, right? Yeah, teleport to Maharu. Yes, please. 500, are you kidding me? <sighs> well. Let's kill the NM that's up. If it's here and up, for sure, let's do that. All right, here we go. I hope it's here. I hope it's here. I hope we end on a on a high note. Getting an NM drop would be great. It's a crab, and they're right over here. Um, yeah, right over here on the dunes. Let's cast up protect and stuff, and then I'm gonna have to farm here for the sub job items, which will be great. I'll do. I'm not doing that on stream. We'll do that off stream, uh, unless one of these ones drops it right now. But. Let's go kill the NM here, who I think is over here. I'm going to kill one of these Dommels. Man, <laughs> I got really lucky the first time going around on the sub-job stuff. So hopefully that will uh, continue, but we're going to look for Wake Rider. What's her name down here? She's pretty cool on M. If she's up, we'll kill her. Wake Rider, I forget what her name is. Poison leaf. She's up here on the on the literally like on the beach. She drops a, something that gives. There she is. Wake Rider Wanda. We'll kill her. And we'll see if we can get the drop. Get the drop. What are you thinking? You're gonna bring me good luck. Is live stream gonna bring me good luck? Am I gonna get this drop here? I have to kill these things too. These things like easy prey. Um. All right, let's go, Wake Warder Wanda. You're going down. We're gonna we're gonna end the stream on a high note. We're gonna get an actual thing to drop here. You're gonna be blinded, and you're gonna give me my healing staff that I can use macros. Equip macros? Oh man, I love equip macros. Not the best for when you're soloing, but you know, nothing I can do about that. Let's go, Wake Rider Wanda. Uh, you need to be stolen from. Nope. <laughs> you need to be paralyzed. That's what you need. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's end. The, let's end on a good note. You're coming back a little bit because I don't remember if there's bogeys on the beach. All right, there they are. I knew they were. There's one over there. So there's the bogey over there. Uh, he's coming over here. We don't want that. You stay away. You stay over in your corner. All right, let's go back to back to killing this thing. Let's go, please. Let's end on a good, good note. Uh, Blizzard's not seeming to do that much, so we're going to stick to fire. I don't like you casting Rasp on me all the time. Stop that. Alright, let's go. Please, end on a good note. One more spell should do it. Stop with your bubble shield. I don't like bubble curtain. Please. I'm pretty sure this is a healing staff. If I remember correctly. 
Or some kind of staff that increases my healing. Well, we'll never know. Because <laughs> I didn't get the drop. Uh, more bogeys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, this looks like safe enough place to log out. Fun! Now I have to reform up all the subjob quests, all the subjob items, again, second time. Additional, too. The, both of them this time. Maharu and Valkram. Uh, both quests. <laughs> So, uh, I'll do another pre-stream episode before I stream again, doing all this. And then we'll start, just like with this one, uh, going on our way to al Zahib, And then maybe I'll look into getting the Blue Mage stuff, if I can do that prior to the next stream. Uh, that would be great. But uh, I'll finish up the Chocobo quest, and I'll set, up, I'll set aside some stuff to do. Just like I set aside this one, where I'd be doing the Kazam Keys... Flying to Kazam, starting the Chocobo quest, and doing Tenshoto. So I'll I'll set I'll get to an I'll do offline another episodic one where I edit it all down, and we'll get to another point where we can uh, have stuff set aside for stream. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, 11 